Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have A Lust for Blood by K.C. Smith. This is the first book in the Realm of Curses novel. I think it's the first book. I might be wrong. <laughs> so this is by Unplugged. This is in their adult book, adult fiction books, which this cover is amazing. And then you see this. Look how cool this is. And then on the bottoms, we have um, moons here. What, what are, are you? He stammered, backing away from her towards the door behind him, towards his only means of escape. He graced him with a menacing smile, displaying her full set of masterful fangs. Death, she hissed, and then pounced. Ooh. Okay, so inside we have a little card, which is the author letter. I didn't mention in my um, video that it is signed. Then we have this as the hardback, which you forward a book. And then we have this as well. And then in papers, these are two characters. And then, let me go. Boop. No, I dropped the. I dropped that. <laughs> okay. There is no escape when the monster is you. When Ori Oriana um, awakens in a field of blood and bodies, she is devastated to realise that the patchwork of death was caused by her own hand. A curse lingers in the air and there's only option to save herself from further bloodshed. Oriana uses her magic to create an enchanted forest, imprisoning the monster responsible for the massacre herself. Garion has built a career around slaying demons when he learns that the century-old creature locked away in the strange phantom woods. The opportunity is too great. He will stop at nothing to destroy the demon filth that lurks in those shadows, if only to satisfy his own haunting memories. Oriana soon finds himself caught in a cat and a cat mouse game, fighting to keep her identity secret. As the two grow closer, the secret unravels. But how could they each other be answered for each for the answer they've been searching for? Mate, this, this book was really the one. I mean it. So, uh, this book has features a lot of interesting concepts. It's like a Jekyll and Hyde retelling, which I haven't seen or like read. I haven't really read the book, so I wouldn't know much about it. But that's what it's been told, it's like that. The big thing that drew me into this book was the promise of a curse. I love a good curse, especially when it's when it's well, written well. Um, along with where it was given in Charlie Forest, which is always fun to read about. My favourite thing about this book was definitely that we have more of the Maury Gray main characters. I love those, these type of characters as they do things that aren't necessarily expected. So Oriana was a great MC as she kept me on my toes, not sure what she's going to do next. This book also includes a demon and a demon hunting style relationship, which gives me major witcher vibes. Because that's also something that's introduced to this is kind of like Jekyll and Hyde and Witcher vibes book kind of situation, which is quite good. There's nothing more exciting than a demon hunter. So demon hunter reminds me of Shadow Hunt or Shadow Hunters or um, Supernatural. And the perfect way to finish it off is a quick super read. I finished the book in like a matter of hours and it was really good. Like it just no matter what it came through, it was to the end of the book it goes no matter what i just had to keep reading it no matter as well so with our yeah so i love oriana as a character i thought she was interesting i enjoyed her journey throughout the book i also loved garen he was such so so good i did love her you also got like i said it also got the witcher vibe which is also fun i don't know um if this was on book option but i like auric he was fun he had the drama and i love it which this book just gave the whole whole cover to it i mean it, it was i was interested by the way the book came scary full of monsters tricky gods and terrible curses i love how the characters slowly revealed and how the story was excited for to the very last page so if you can tell this might be book one so i'm not sure i have to do some more research if it's book two but yeah that's it guys i'm definitely keeping this book I'm so excited. I just came out of But yes, I will be getting more adult fiction books because um if there's gonna be books like this, 
I'm intrigued. So that is everything for the book review. I'm not sure if there's going to be any more December books. This might be my last December book review, but we will see. Um, and anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.